Okay guys, this is Captain Jeff. We got a big time snook episode today. I got a real girl with me. This is Kristen. Lifelong friends. Been dying to get her out here fishing. I also got Sean Fairbanks. And uh, we're running that dog right now. We're in downtown Fort Lauderdale. A lot of big fish around here lately. We'll see if we can't get us one. The bait will tell me that the fish is coming and I'll tell you. I'll be like, oh, here it comes. And then you're going to see big splash and stuff going on out there, right? So I bend over, drag starts going out. It's going to be hard to get out of the rod holder. I may help you, you might have to do it, whatever. Thing's going to be jumping. Jumping. It's going to be jumping. Yeah. Okay, now listen, when he's jumping, don't pull when he's jumping. Okay, if you see him jump, just kind of bow the rod to him, give him room to fall back in the water, and then start pulling again. Okay. okay. And you're going to hear me say over and over again, use the rod, not the handle. Because if you just sit here and crank the handle, nothing's going to happen. Okay. You have to use all the powers in the rod. So you're going to pull with the rod, and then you're just going to retrieve your line with the handle on the way back down. Okay. Right. Keep the tip up. You got to keep the tip up. You always want to keep that tip up because if that fish jumps, you got to be able to give it to him. All right? And even the small ones are, you know, 50 pounds, and they're wiggling real hard. So if you're pulling on them when he's in the air, you know, they'll let you get away with it every once in a while, but you lose a lot of fish. So that's all I can really tell you. Okay. And just expect it. Know he's going to jump. Don't say, oh, it got yeah, me by surprise. Yeah, Especially at the beginning. And then right at the end, about five minutes before we get him, he's going to jump. Okay. Five minutes. And you start seeing him. He's almost ready. He's almost ready. He's going to jump one time in there. He's not going to be tired? He's going <laughs> to try you at the end. Almost always. And if you're, if you're complacent and you think you got him, you'll lose him right at the end. So, now that I told you, got it. I expect you to do it absolutely perfect. <laughs> uh, Nobody's perfect, but uh, we'll try. Yeah. Uh, try. Boy, here we go. Got one by accident, huh? Yeah, we had like a chopped up lady finger, or what, lady fish. And we were just trolling in Chukalusky and that's how we got it. Smart. That's a good spot. Getting a lot you crunched over here. What are you doing, Mr. Styles? You got the trick daddy doll? You got the trick daddy going on there. What's that? He's got the trick daddy doll going on there. That's, that's Lauderdale for you. That must have been. Gorman's the only one out here getting can sex. So I made him RTD Pro Staff. Yeah. Pro baby. So the So how does one become pro staff? They just How does one become pro staff? They just fish a lot, catch a lot, put in the time. You gotta get consex to be pro staff. So my pro staff team, we're only putting real dudes on there, and it's gonna be because we're just gonna, gonna do hundreds of fish a month instead of bullshit pro staff. The real guys. Right. Real guys, yeah. Absolutely. How many lines you got down to? You're good, you're good. Oh, courtesy? Pretty good, right? Yeah. Courtesy. Yeah. Fort Lauderdale? You're all good. Sure. Bro, that guy needs a t-shirt or something. Right? Yeah. He's from there are nice people in the world. Eleven foot whalers. He's from Ohio, Kansas. Sorry. <laughs> Eleven foot whalers. Yeah. 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 The same fish that are rolling around. I tell my wife, oh, I already got a mark of 80 pounder or so. <laughs> there you go. Dude, you, just, the you see the bait feels it. The bait perk up when they go over them. They feel them down there. Yeah. 
they marked a couple, so there's probably 10 or 12 or so back there. Got a little fish just rolling up there in the middle of Yeah, a lot of small ones I'm seeing. I'm marking them too. Same area right there. Seems like they're all the way down. They're just kind of right in the middle in the deep area. And the baits keep getting nervous. It's right in the way. I mean, like right here. Yeah. And the other boat is between me. I'm telling you, there's a 15 feet between us, and the tarpon's <laughs> jumping between us. And the customer kids are not even tight on the thing. I'm like, real, real, real. And we ended up getting them. Nice. nice. They love that shit. I don't know why. They, I can't tell you how many fish in the last few weeks I've had strike, you know, within five feet of a boat. They fucking love it, dude. I don't know why. It's like maybe an ambush thing. Well, they I, use wonder if they, I wonder if they use the boat. Yeah. Like, you know, that's always my style. To their advantage. Ten feet of line. Yeah, that's the best. We had uh, or Garmin hooked one. Watching me try to hook one. He had this bait right here just the other day. Here we go with the taxi. Reel it up. Real, real, real. Oh! There you go. Oh! Nice! Nice! Big slug, right? Yeah. And this is a big, yeah. Now, big poodle. Big poodle? Oh. Yeah. I think it was a first I saw him in it. Chunk it over there. Alright, walk to the front. Oh! Nice and easy. Put your rod tip towards me. Yeah. Oh. You're alright. Woo! Oh, it's no fur. Nice fish. Run that dog, baby. Right, sit down right there and put your rod in the rod holder. <laughs> Put your hand right there. I want them out like a bass. Holy shit! Yeah! Woo! That's Kristen right there. I told you. I only hang out with real people. People that get can sex. Check her out. Yeah, baby. Look at that pretty baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, my kid. Nice! Nice fish, kid. Woo, heavy. Nice. Woo. But to, I reeled too, and he's like, are you done yet? I'm like, small potatoes. Catching consecutive lunkers, getting consex, is like the hardest thing you can do. It takes dedication, it takes time, it takes commitment. And there's no line, either you can get consex or you can't. Kristen over here, she's been getting consex for a few years now. She goes to all the events, we see her on Instagram, she's always getting a big fish. She doesn't know it yet, but today, we're making Kristen the second member of our RTD Pro staff. Wow! Yeah? <laughs> so she's gonna be a new RTD Pro staff for us, and uh, I got some. Yeah! Something. When, you, when you get RTD Pro staff is what you get. All right. You got your visor. Yeah. I got you the Lunker Girl shirt. That's Whoa. I'm legit. I'm legit now. She gets the long sleeve shirt. Ooh. Keep her out of the sun and all that. Nice. Thank you. And then the first pre-pod rod ever. Sean, this is the custom pre-pod rod. This is for the lighter fish. Kristen catches a lot of small snooks, a lot of peacocks, a lot of... Uh, Mudfish, what are them damn things called? Snakeheads! Snakeheads. <laughs> and this rod's gonna be perfect for her. So I want her to have the rod. Really? Yep, that's for you. <gasps> Sweet! I get a rod too? You get all this stuff. Damn! New I did. Newest member of RTD Pro staff. Yeah! <laughs> Run that dog, baby! <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Sweet! I told you, we only do real people in our pro staff. I love it. Real I'm people stoked. Get, real people get consex. Yeah, I'm putting in that time with this. You already, Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Run that dog, guys. Run that dog. <laughs>